Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome, welcome back. This video is a Vera Bradley haul from the factory outlet in Williamsburg, Virginia. Met a lovely lady there, had the store all to myself because we got there right at opening. And Kissy, shout out, um, was a nice lady that helped me with checkout. She was lovely. Um, and Kelly's here, of course. We're at, we're at Twin Peaks with my friends who gifted us that lovely Vera a few weeks ago. Okay. Kelly says hi. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I did bring them a bunch of gifts. Obviously, I can't share all of that. Some of them were in previous videos from the online outlet sale, etc. Some I bought at the store and passed along immediately. Hi, you wanna lick my arm because I put lotion on. Um, anyways, we're freshly showered and today we're going back to the farm in our brother's house. But I got this backpack for my niece, Kenzie, as I was running out the door. I, I don't know if y'all remember last year, we went to Bush Gardens, we went to Williamsburg, we did the Jamestown colonial settlement, we did all that stuff. And we stopped at Vera and with her own money, she bought herself a little bifold wallet. So I was on the, on the way out the door to come here and she's like, don't forget, I love lemons. <laughs> Anyways, she does not need a school backpack. She has lots because I give her backpacks all the time. Um, but Lemon Grove Lighten Up Sporty Backpack. I just thought it would be perfect for her. She does gymnastics and so she can keep her bags separate for school and gymnastics. And I just know she's going to be so surprised. It is a very bright and happy pattern. I like looking at it. I just didn't invest in it for myself. I have, you know, you have too much. You have to be a little selective. Anyways, enough blah, blah, blah. This bag is a good size backpack. I would definitely say it's a large backpack. Not the largest, but a large backpack. It has these seatbelt strap loops that are sewn onto. You can clip things onto it or put something here and strap an elastic line, lace it through, and you can hold things there if you so desire. Great place to hang bag charms or whatever too. Um, but it is a really happy pattern. And I picked a pattern placement that just had a good balance with the flowers and the lemons. And this has a little ladybug right there. So yeah, um, it has a seatbelt strap top handle. It has nice size cargo pockets that do have a little bit of elastic and the back side has this elastic mesh screen here. So it does give it a little bit of give. The connections are plastic with seatbelt strap. Okay, valid. It's a reactive type material, so that's to be expected. And then that's pretty much it for the outside. No trolley strap or sleeve. It does have ergonomic straps that are padded. Those are nice. It's very lightweight, which is good, especially for Kenzie. She's so petite. Um, so in the front, you have a pocket. It does go all the way down to the bottom. And it has quite a little gusset. So you're talking about this much space here with bulging out capabilities. Inside there, you have a key clip on a strap. You have a mesh zipper pocket on the top part here. It only goes down to just right there. And the rest is just an open pocket with this pretty light blue interior, solid. And this pattern is the VB squares there. I think you can see it there, the VB diamonds with the recycled arrows. That's, you know, another indicator that it is reactive, made from plastic bottles. All right, and then the main pocket does have a double zipper. And these zipper pulls, I actually like them. They're a metal tab, but they're very smooth. They're good size, a good feel. They're, you know, they're nice. You open this up, you have a big open empty pocket and then a padded tech section. That's it. It's a very simple bag, which is what helps it be lightweight, but it's perfect for her. I mean, she's got pouches and snack towers and other things. So that is for Kenzie. And then I have these neighbors. I would say new neighbors. They're not that new, but they've moved in since I bought the property and they're next to my brother's side and really just dear friends. And both of them are retired military. So that's fun. But I was, I was, visiting with her and turns out she loves olive green. She was army, okay. I washed the military stuff out of my color palette, but she embraced it and I love that. But, um, so I got her a few things. Let me pull it all out real quick. Or I might have to, 
let's see, I think I got three things. Yeah, okay. So let's go big to small since I've already put this up. So this is a sling, this is factory style. This is the ultra light fabrication. This is a pretty nice sling actually, and this, I do like it. Ultralight Essential Sling Backpack in Sage. Olive green, army green. <laughs> so it has the extra bits of strap. So there's a connection. The strap is very long, so you can make it either a belt bag or a sling. And it, it unclips here, so you can clip in that extension if you need it, or if you wanna just reconfigure it. So that's nice. This is nice, it's quilted. It is ultralight fabrication, but it feels heftier, more robust than some of the previous ones I've felt. I don't know if that's just variations or what, but, but it has a front pocket. Here, zipper on the diagonal. It's the, you can see the pocket there. And then it has a main pocket right in here. No internal pockets or whatever, but there is a beautiful floral pattern that matches very nicely with the outside. And that's it. It's a pretty simple backpack, you know, factory style and all. So I'll tuck that in there a little bit. Um, and I'll put the strap in the front because I don't want to lose that. Okay, so we got the sling and then I also got a wallet and a zip ID lanyard. So the wallet is the ultralight. RFID, three-in-one crossbody. Again, it's Sage. It's kind of like an all-in-one crossbody wristlet. So you have these plastic, are they plastic? Yeah, no, actually they're metal. They look plastic. Are they plastic? Goodness. Yeah. Anyways, it's like an all-in-one. So you have the flap pocket up front where you can put your phone or your chapstick or whatever. It comes with a removable adjustable crossbody strap as well as the wristlet straps. You have both options. You got this nice big size pocket. Fits my phone. I can't show you that because my phone is what I'm filming on today. And then you have the two zipper sections. So first zipper section is your main wallet part. So you have all your card slots plus two vertical card slots and same on the other side. Down here you have the clear ID window and it does have that push hole. Behind that you have your cash drawer right there. So you have one, two, three, four card slots with the front one being the clear ID and four more over here. So that's your main wallet part. I mean, you could use it however you want, but that's legitimately where I would expect most people would. And then the back section is your accordion style. You have space here, space here, and a coin thing up the middle. And that's all it is. And it's gusseted on both sides, just like the other. <coughs> your phone will fit here or here, typical phones. And I'm just gonna put this strap back up front. And it is a snap closure. So I got her that. And then the matching zip ID and lanyard, so. It is the one that comes as a set, so it has just the one ring, not two separate ones, one here and one on here. But it's the macro quilting, like bigger than the macro. Just kind of cool. Okay, so that is for my neighbor. Then I, I got a bunch of, I don't want to say random things, but you know, stuff. I got a mini notebook with pocket and she loves animals too. So I plan to give her one of those. And then the other one is for me. I think I already have it, but I got it anyway, cause I love doggies. Kelly's hiding behind me now. <laughs> Can't hardly see her on that side of the bed. And then I got one in Haymarket. Haymarket Paisley Jewel. So the Haymarket Paisley had the black background with the bright colors. This one has like this jewel, teal, deep teal, and then the rest are pretty similar colors. We got those, because you can never have too much paper. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I got a lot of stuff in here. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay, so this is Lighten Up RFID Little Hipster Lisbon Medallion Cool. Now, it is a pretty geometric pattern. I do like the colors, and I think it goes really nicely with that navy blue there. I got one that's almost really centered here, almost. <laughs> but I like the little hipsters. I don't have a huge lot of them, but they're great size. And the Lighten Up, or in this case, Reactive, actually. It says Lighten Up, but it's actually Reactive. Um, it's just a great configuration. It's a little bigger, so it has more space. So let's pull some things out here. First of all, we have the front pocket. Again, it has that BB Diamond nylon solid color, and it's just a nice smooth zipper. This one is the inside out version of the zipper. Okay, that's fine, it works. Then you've got the, it's not removable, but it is adjustable seatbelt strap. And then you have just the fixed loop on the other side. So it's only adjustable there. And it looks like it's just twisted under here. Hang on. There we go. So you can make that pretty long and I like to wear them crossbody. Then in the, you have one, two, three main sections. This is pretty cool. So the front zipper section is an inside out zipper and the main one is right side out. I don't know why they did that. Honestly, this one is fine. But I think it would be nicer if these two were regular, or at least the same. I don't, I don't get why the difference. But I do find regular and inside out. The inside out is not as smooth. It never is. And there you have it. That's my thoughts on that. I know I'm picky about my zippers. That's what I love about lug zippers is they're so smooth. <coughs> so here you have a cash drawer and three card slots here, three card slots here. So this is a built-in wallet if you so choose, but if you don't choose to use it that way, this section actually has a full finger and a half of gusset to itself. So it's quite a little pocket. You can put a lot in there, pouches or just things loose in there. And then your pocket between the zippers is a magnetic hidden magnet and it's just a nice open slip. For me, this is where I put my phone. Um, you could put a, more than that in there, but that's what I put in there. And then the main section is just a zipper and this is your main compartment. So if you look here, you, oh, let me try and hold it with one hand. So this is that front compartment and this is the main compartment, but look how thick that is. So <clears throat> the little hipsters can hold a lot actually. They're kind of a tiny but mighty bag but this one's mightier. If, you, if you're traveling or, or just carry a little bit more than the little hipster can hold, one, this is waterproof. It's, it's a good option. It won't get as dirty as fast. It's still washable. And I, mean, I don't know if I'd put it in the washer, but you can wipe it, certainly. Anyways, this works very nice for me and my interests. And I don't have anything in this pattern, but I have navy blue stuff and other stuff that we can mixy-matchy with it. And while we're talking about the dogs, <laughs> so the retail side came out with Best in Show, which was basically the same pattern, but this is the outlet version and it is called Dog Show. This is the cord organizer. So the retail side cord organizer is a bigger piece. I like both, um, but they're great for many things, not just cords. I mean, they're exceptional for cords. So you have a zipper mesh pouch, and on front of that, you have three elastic sections. There's a small, medium, and large space there. Um, so you can put like your chargers there or whatever. On the bottom, you have a big one and a small one. So it's meant to be like this, so everything's upright. And then you have this big elastic cargo slip, and um, it's nylon lined. It's a little bit wipeable, just pretty simple, but I really like them use them as a catch-all organizer in a bag. Very common for me, especially when traveling. But there you have a little cord organizer pouch. I think I, this might be my first factory style cord organizer. I have to, uh, might be, but I might have to get a couple more because I like the size, it's great. Okay, so back to the Lisbon medallion. I got the 
I'm looking at the names because they're all different than the retail side. Bag Chum for AirPods. I just picked a pattern placement that had a good amount of the colors and different bits. Um, so these are great. You can use it for a chapstick, a hand sanitizer. I do use them for my AirPods these days. I have the AirPod Pro, but that's great. And if it's a perfect addition on my small hipster there. And then I bought a coin purse. The factory style has a slip on the front and then a zipper. But it's a great size for coin purse. And look at those colors. I really do like them. Okay. And changing gears, but still on that color. <coughs> Excuse me. Lighten up pencil pouch uh, in the same pattern. Uh, I like this because it's the, the reactive in this case is the slouchy, sort of the thinner, lighter in, in all of these. And it has a nice robust zipper. It's just a pencil pouch, but you can use it for other kinds of things. It doesn't have to be pencils. But if you do want to, you can put it in your three ring binder. It has the fabric loops to plug it right in. Um, that's not how I plan to use it, but there you go. Then I got this little train case in the steel blue medallion. I really love these blues. I don't have a lot in it. I have a few random bits. But the train case reminds me a lot of the uh, Travel Cosmetic, I think it was called. I have a bigger version that was kind of an oval shape and a, about this big. This one is a rectangular and a little smaller, but great size. Uh, it has double zipper opening, which I do love on these. It has a zipper mesh pocket on the top. It has this nice fabric top carry handle that's sewn on. And then inside you have two big mesh elastic. And then in the front you have two more. So you can put little things in there. And then the whole thing is plastic lined. So great for makeup, for even crayons or art supplies. Um, I put little sewing project in there and now you have a little crochet kit that you can have on the go and you just grab it and carry it. Um, you could put snacks in there and have it as like a little snack bag and a bigger bag. <clears throat> for me, I use them a lot for like medications, vitamins, supplements, and you just take the whole bottle and they stand up in here. And now you can look and you're like, doo, doo, doo. you've got all your stuff. So great for that and it, and it folds down pretty flat too, which is good. Okay. Another, oh, I already have something out, sorry. Let me put this in there. Um, so this is the smaller sling from the factory side. All right, Lighten Up Essential Compact Sling. And this is in Tilly's Treasure, which is the same as a factory style pattern. I, I say same, extremely similar to a recent one. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. I want to, um, I'm not sure the name, I've forgotten it, but uh, I'll put it down below, of course. But this little sling is a great sling or belt bag size um, versus the other one. So size comparison, you've got the regular and the compact. So it's about two thirds the size of the bigger one. They both have this loop on top, even though I forgot to mention it on the other one. So it's a great place. You can hang your keys, your AirPods, your hand sanitizer, your bag charm, whatever. And it kind of, it's stuck straight on the top so it can flop to either side where you want it. Um, you have the same configuration, two pockets. It comes with the same strap extension as well. And this one just has that light minty interior. But it's it's a nice little bag and it is a cute underwater sea life pattern. So I bought this for me. I, can't, I couldn't remember if I had one, but I have a ton, ton, ton of cruising bags and these are my cruising buddies. And I saw this and I thought, well, it's a perfect pattern placement. I'll just add it to my cruising collection. And if I already have one, it's a perfect gift to roll on. But a lot of these things are retail side retreaded. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but not all are. But if you remember hanging around, that was the sloth pattern with the teal background. The factory style came out with hanging around purple. And these are the jogger pajama pants. Um, I, well, they're way too big for me. 
And the problem is I didn't look at them. I assumed they were like the retail side and I think I knew better because when I bought the doggy ones, but these don't have a drawstring. They have an elastic waist with this ribbed knit, but no drawstrings. <laughs> these are not gonna stay on. I mean, I'm a big girl, but they're big. Um, so I will have to insert a drawstring, not a big deal, super easy to do. And I have cord that I can use for it, it's perfect. But um, my bad. <laughs> I should have got a more appropriate size, but I like them big and baggy. I'm not gigantic, but because they're tapered legs, you know, so it gives me plenty of space. And the ankles are a knit ribbing as well, but super soft knit fabric. And it's just the really cute slots again with the flowers, blossoms, and the leaves. But it's a purple background, so I just got that to add to my collection. The shirt that goes with it is a navy background and has the sloth right here. Super cute, it matches great. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have my size, so I might call around and try and get it. Not that I need another shirt, but the color is like the same color as these branches. Okay, let me pick up this bag. We're getting, this, we're getting down to the little stuff. And I'm just gonna pull it all out. Okay, so sticking with the hanging around purple, I grabbed this RFID all day simple wristlet. It's just a pouch with a wristlet strap on the zipper. So um, very versatile piece, but look at the cute slots and the pretty purple. I do like it. So good size. This can go inside any backpack in most purses. Um, it's it's roughly the size of the mini notebook, so it goes nicely, even if you just wanted to put some things and go do some journaling. Um, what else can I size it with? The little hipster, it even fits nicely in that, um, so that's great. Anyways, you open it up, it zips just a part way around the corner, and inside you have three card slots built in, and that's it, it's just a pouch. I don't use it as a built-in wallet. I might could use it with the card slot or two and go to the grocery store. But I don't do that kind of thing with it. I use it more as a pouch to carry things. Then I have a lanyard, two lanyards. I got the Reactive Lemon one for Kenzie. And I got the Reactive Antilles Treasure. I grabbed one of these for each of my cruising buddies here. So they got the zip IDs and the lanyards in like three different sea life and nautical patterns. Um, and this was an extra one that I grabbed because I figure one, I could add it to my nursing gift pile. I can, if I, I don't know if I have this actually. So that's another reason I got it. But worst case, um, I could take it on the cruise ship with me and you meet someone is like, hey, where'd you get your lanyard? And I'm like, oh, I have an extra, here you go because um, they were cheap and I just stocked up on things, you know, whatever. Um, then I have this coin purse in the Antilles Treasures, the factory style coin purse. I got the ladies these two and there's actually, I managed somehow magically to get almost the same pattern placement for the twins because they do everything identical and super cute. Um, but anyway, got the coin purse, um, dog show luggage tag, which is Nice, I'll just add that to one of my dog show bags back home. Then I got the Antilles Treasure Ballpoint Twist Pen. I got each of them, those. I got them all the, I got the men uh, perfectly plaid. They had the blankets already showed, the pens already showed. Um, the ladies got Sure Enough and the factory style um, Antilles Treasure. They got a four pack of mechanical pencils and I bought two packs of the click pens that come in sets of two. And I got one for me, one for the third couple and one for each of the twins. So we all four have a single pen. And that's the end of the haul. <laughs> um, when you go to the stores, retail and or outlet, that you occasionally come across these it says backpack and launch Vera Bradley. And all it is is kind of like a style guide of what the different versions features are, size comparisons. You can see the pockets and the stuff side by side. Um, and on the back, this has the lunch stuff. So um, I always grab these when I can because they're great. You know, look back and you're like, oh, um, 
what goes with what or which one was it that had the whatever feature, um, things like that. And so there you go. I, I always grab them. And this one is specific to the factory. So there you go. But that's the end of this one. We're heading out probably in about half an hour. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye for now.